What's up, bud, it's Rob, this is Apparel Success. And in this video here, I'm gonna share with you a strategy for selling two times as much clothing for your clothing brand. And this is a very genuine tip, no gimmicks at all here, and I'm gonna go super in depth on this strategy for you, it's gonna be huge, here it is. This channel here is sponsored by my buds over at Brand Crowd. If you need designs made for your clothing brand, then I seriously recommend you check them out. They have a tool called the Logo Maker Tool, which is where they have a huge library of already professionally designed logos that you can customize. You can add your own fonts to it, your own layout to it, all of that's free to try. Then once you decide that you actually like your logo, then you can decide to purchase it. If you're interested, follow the link in the description because it'll give you a huge discount. All right, so the advice that I wanna share with you here that will help you sell two times as much clothing for your clothing brand, and that's not just a general statement, I honestly mean that, is utilizing free shipping in a strategic way. And you may have noticed on my website or on other clothing brands' websites that at the top of their website, they have this section that says free shipping on all orders over a certain amount. And you likely already have this set up on your own clothing brand's website. But what I wanna talk about is how to use this strategically because this can have an absolutely massive effect on the amount of clothing that you're able to sell for your clothing brand. And I have very, very real evidence to back this up because we've recently changed our free shipping method here and the amount that we're doing free shipping for. I wanna go over the results and I really want to explain this for you so that you can put it in place for your own clothing brand in the right way. Basically for the entirety of my clothing brand's life, since the very beginning, we've only offered free shipping on orders over 100 or $125. And for the past year, it's been on orders over $125. And what this means is that in order for somebody to actually get free shipping for my clothing brand, they'd have to place an order for more than two hoodies because our hoodies are $60. So two hoodies would only make $120. And so they'd have to order two hoodies and a hat, two hoodies and a t-shirt, or maybe like five t-shirts or like five tank tops or something. And we set it high like that because we were hoping that people would see that and they'd try to aim for it. They'd be like, okay, $125, you know, I'm gonna try and reach that. and. What we were doing wrong is we were setting that free shipping rate way too high, okay? And I think that this is a thing that a lot of clothing brand owners do because they get kind of greedy. And I think that that's basically what we were doing. We were like, you know, if we set it at 125, maybe it'll get bigger orders coming in our website. And I think that what it ended up happening at the end of the day is that it actually ended up deterring a lot of people from wanting to place an order at all. And it led to a lot of abandoned carts. And I think that that's also the number one reason why there are abandoned carts in the first place. People love free shipping, especially in Canada. Shipping costs a lot of money and everywhere shipping costs a lot of money, but especially here. And when they come to your website and they see, you know, shipping's like 15 bucks, 20 bucks, they're like, screw this, you know, I'm only buying a t-shirt here, I only wanna buy a hoodie, and it's just way too much, okay? So, what I wanna share with you instead is that recently, we set up free shipping on our website for over $75. What ended up happening for us, since the most we sell a product for on our website is literally $70, and we sell our hoodies for $60, our t-shirts for 25, our tanks for 25, our hats for 30. What we ended up noticing is that that 75 limit, $75 limit was absolutely perfect at enticing our customers to just buy one more product after they've decided to already buy a hoodie or buy two t-shirts. They realize that, you know, I can throw an extra t-shirt in there, an extra tank top in there, and my order's not gonna be massive. I'm not gonna have to spend over $100 here on this website, especially if they're buying for the first time, and I can just test it out and still get free shipping. And it's really a win-win situation for both people, right? It's a win-win situation for us because we're getting higher orders. A lot of our orders were like $90, right around $100 anyways, because people were trying to get that free shipping. And for them, they don't need to spend you know, $150 in order to actually get the free shipping at the end of the day because they don't really necessarily wanna buy you know, three or four items of clothing in order to get that free shipping. So I wanna show you the difference between a batch of orders that we sent out when we have our free shipping limit at $75 versus a free shipping limit of $125. And what you'll notice here is that when we had free shipping at $125, people weren't even shooting for it. So most of the people were just like, screw it, I'll pay shipping and I'll just get a hoodie and I'll just get a t-shirt. And you'll see that most of the orders that we were getting were in poly mailers. And that's because in poly mailers, you can basically only fit one product. When we dropped the free shipping limit to $75, 
almost all the orders that we were getting started to happen in boxes, okay? We had to send out these orders in boxes because we were selling way more products. We had to fit two hoodies, two t-shirts and a hat, whatever it was, we were starting to send out way more boxes because our orders were a lot bigger than the ones when our free shipping was just way too high for people to even really shoot for, okay? So what I recommend that you do here for your own clothing brand is you test out free shipping at a lower rate on your website. I think that this will have an absolutely massive effect for you and it should be able to double the amount of clothing that you're able to sell for your clothing brand. Another thing that we've noticed is that we've just been selling a lot more. We've been getting a lot more orders because people see that on the website, they see it as a deal and they see it as something that is within their range, within their budget, and they're much more likely to place an order rather than abandoning their cart and just saying screw it because shipping is way too expensive, all right? Let me know what you think in the comments below and drop your brand down there as well. I like to check out the brands that are watching and check out my clothing brand marketing masterclass. It's 100% free to watch. All you have to do to get access is go to apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass. You can watch the whole thing for free. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I wanna tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have going on for Apparel Success. There's a link in the description below. Follow that link, join us in the group. See you in the next one. Peace.